What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be talking about the Schmitz deodorant. Um, this one right here is the Rose and Vanilla deodorant and I was using this product um, for a little while. Um, it does smell delish. I have to say that. This is what it looks like. Obviously it's been used. But this is what it looks like. Um, when you first put this on, you kind of have to like push it against your underarms and like let it melt a little bit and then rub it in. Now, I hate to admit, I stopped using this deodorant. Here's why. So this deodorant um, started to stay in my clothes. That was the first thing. Um... And then this deodorant burned under my arms. I kid you not. It was, my underarms was black. And I thought like, oh my God, maybe I shaved wrong. Maybe I waxed wrong. Like what the heck is going on with this deodorant? So I stopped using it. Now this is probably after my second bottle. Like I used the first bottle. Um... It was fine. And then I used the second model. I was like, oh my God, it's the best deodorant. And then all of a sudden it started staining my clothes. It started burning me. So I literally was not wearing deodorant for a while because I needed my underarms to heal. The only thing I could put under there was like Vaseline. Like you could literally see my skin peeling off. It was just terrible. So I thought, okay, maybe it's something wrong with that kind. So my crazy self went and bought another one. <laughs> and this time I bought lavender and sage. Again, it smells great. This is what this one looks like. It smells just like lavender. If you buy like all natural lavender. And I thought, oh my God, this is the mom. I use the first one. Great. No problems. I go out and buy the second one, and boom, it did the same thing. It burned under my arms. So I'm thinking, like, this is an all natural deodorant. There's no way my underarms should be burned. But this product does have baking soda and coconut oil. Now, I have used like baking soda under my arms, and I'm just like trying to switch in between deodorants, just trying to figure out what works best. And deodorants, well, not deodorants, like baking soda, it like burned the stink out of me. I'm thinking like, my skin cannot be that sensitive. But it is. My body just doesn't like it. So I stopped using both of these products. Um, and believe it or not, they're like $4 and something at Walmart. Um, I ended up getting both of them from Walmart. They have other scents or whatever, but I gotta be honest, I'm not sold on this product and I probably will never buy anything else regarding Schmitz or however you say, deodorant. So I went back to aluminum deodorant until I find something better or if I make something better. Um, I do sometimes use lines, typically not after I wax or shave. Um, but I have started using limes, which have worked pretty good. And I usually use those at night after I take a shower. And then in the morning, I put on, obviously, regular deodorant. But at night, I just use lime, which has helped under my arms. Like, it's not as dark as it used to be. Um, sometimes I use lemon. Just depends on what, you know, what you like. But this is just my honest review about these products and... It's not my favorite, and I probably will not spend my money on it again. Um, I hope this helps someone. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Bye.